thank you guys for coming back to the channel. That is Del Chanel's 48th World, where you get all the entertainment news on celebrities that you can use, okay? And it's just fictitious in my eyes, because I ain't breaking down saying everything I report is true. But you know, on the flip side, it just could be. All right, so take it for what it's worth. All right, get your entertainment on, get your kikis, get your laughs, because it's all just fun banter, okay? And us expressing our opinions when social media goes crazy out there and start trending with all these celebrities doing this, that, and the third. And, you know, don't want nobody to speak on it, especially if they uh, being looked at in a bad light, okay? But sometimes what you do in the dog gonna come to light. And as for sure, when you cut up in social media, you're gonna get clout back because, hey, you don't have to put your business out there. But when you do it, you know that's... Um, we call it the social media platform and people gonna talk that's just the way it is but i want to say thank you thank you thank you for all my new subscribers thank you to my old subscribers that have been riding with me from day one and just thank you for the outpour of love uh that i'm giving to you all my commentary which is free and y'all enjoying it which is free okay love it like it good let's get on into celebrity insider yes i was hanging out with them today in my mind okay and we were just sitting and talking and having a good old time and what in the world would cross uh on my news feed and i had to verify it so i said let me go on down now uh and talk to kirsten willis but she was on vacation all right so i had a nice conversation with alex stone she even bought me lunch okay but anyway she was telling me the story that's going to be breaking out and she wanted to give me you know first deals on it so i can just do what i needed to do you know what i'm saying check with the people i needed to check with and holler at my people that are kenya moore's supporters okay i thought okay because I got some good, 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 good girlfriends in my Lonnie B voice. If y'all don't know who I uh, who he is, go and check out his channel. I think he got one on Facebook, Instagram. I think he everywhere, but I used to watch him on YouTube. And he is called Lonnie B, L-O-N-N-I-E-B-E-E. -E -E, and get your laughs and kikis on, okay? He's in the entertainment field as well, but he does some of everything out there. Stand-up comedy is really his true to fame thing he's trying to get into and a lot of other avenues as well okay but anyway uh well he catered to the celebrities as well because he's a celebrity in his own way he sure is and just like all of us on youtube with celebrities then when you're just not even on youtube but you live in your life you are a celebrity right there okay you're a celebrity honey welcome to the world of celebrity ship all right but we're gonna get on into this story okay because it's all my favorite girl yes it is y'all know i love all my housewives i really do i have nothing against them it's just when they act crazy and they're not being filmed in a sense on these streets that we live every day my tolerance is very low for their foolishness okay very low because half of my mother's um uh, and they have family members that have put good stock in them. And then they just go out here all willy-nilly. And like they ain't been raised. Like they've been, been raised by some wolves or something. You know what I'm saying? Just animal instinct. Just going on attacking folks. Taking themselves. And it just looks ugly. So then I have to bring out my strap and get the whooping. How the mama used to do in the old age. And the daddies, you know, if they were there. All right. But my thing is, let's talk about this article that Alexis Stone brought out on Kenya Moore, her husband, and baby girl Brooklyn. Okay. But I ain't going to tear on Brooklyn. Not even a uh, half a second. Beautiful young lady. Don't know why her mama picked every opportunity to put her in, um, uh, you know, on social media, she does it all the time. I'm like, are you searching for this girl to have a modeling contract? Just do like the rest of them. I'm sure you got contacts. Go on up there to the girl, but people, the baby, the baby making part of people. Okay, they know who she is because you know, damn sure the, a whole lot on social media. Okay, go and get her a contract. Start her out so she can get her college fund up, paid for, and all that good stuff. You ain't got to put no money on the table because she earned it. Yes, she needs her coins when she get old enough to want to make decisions for herself she need all this money that you're securing now for yourself okay can you more and do something for your daughter because this entertainment life is just like 
you know, the blink of her eye. It could be here today, gone tomorrow, okay? So I need you to secure her future because with Mark running that restaurant business, it's almost like a hole in the wall. You just keep investing. Unless he's leasing his property and he coming out that way. But if he got somewhere he done locked, stopped, bear, or bought, okay? Yeah, this is one of them things, okay? Everybody can go out there and have a restaurant, but only select few will stay in the game and the grind because it is a money pit. And it's two way, it's, it's two folds, you know what I'm saying? It can make you money or it can take all your money. It just depends on how you budget and how you manage it. And do you have good business savvy skills? Okay, and the right people on your team. But that's the that's you know, I, I don't touch two people right now. Okay. But um my whole concern is why is Mark Daly out here uh calling himself want to be a part of the social media world? What my folks Taking up for him, saying, oh, no, he a private person. Oh, no, he don't want to be seen. That's King's life. That's not his life. We got to respect him. Honey, I want my girls to come through. Y'all know who I'm talking about. My major three. And I still had not heard from Val Williams. So I don't know about Val. She ain't on the stick right now. But we're going to give her time to Terry Mosley her behind on over here and give me her compliments or give me her comments. Or we just get into the war zone with each other. But I got love for all of them, especially my Sheila P. And my Infinity 13, I'm like, come on through, come on through. Because I got another video that came out, too, on Miss Girl. And I'm just going to be wrecking them out. I had to go come home day for work because I was tired. I took me a nap, okay? And I feel very refreshed. So I can go on and on and on and on about Miss Kenya, okay? But I think I'm going to be a little reporter today on my channel. I'm going to be a news commentator as well as a talk show host, okay? Get into it, okay? Camera Hall, she's a, a known or... Uh, just coming out on the scene. Really, I just found out about today. You know, because I'm not into TV that much, okay? I'm really not. Just a very select few of uh shows I may watch, you know, and enjoy them. And I really put them on YouTube because sometimes it's very time because they're very long and it's drawn out. And I'm like, mm, I don't think so. I'm just going to enjoy this for my pleasure. Okay, but then I have the ones where I watch. I'll be like, like the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And I'd be like, oh, these Southern women. <laughs> But, you know, some of them weren't even born and raised here. So I can't even call that. That's, that's the up north mentality. Okay. Speak first and, and watch your mouth later. You know, them the ones that, you know, raised up north. Because I have family up north and that's what they do. They would come out and not even thought about anything. Would get on you like white on rice. Then they'll come back with a, oh, I'm sorry, attitude. I'm like, girl. See, in the south, we take it easy. We like Easy like Sunday morning. Yes, okay. But your crap, uh, can you more plan now? That oh, I want to show my husband. Oh, I want to do this. Oh, I want to do it. I already got my uh interview questions coming in this video, so y'all gonna like them. But like I said, I need my girls to fall through. Maybe not tonight. Maybe tomorrow sometime. Just when they relax and they just doing nothing. And it's, well, let me go see what my girl doing over that damn snails four days world. Let me just go see what she doing. Okay, let me check in on her. Okay, see what selection store she got going on in her own way of spending them. Okay, because like she said, it ain't necessarily true, but it sound good. So why not partake in it? Okay, get your last on, get your key keys. That's all it is, entertainment. But if it can help you on getting the, the uh, gist, and jest on your favorite entertainer or not so favorite entertainer. Why not come to me? You ain't got to pay a magazine and the store or a, a, a little inquire booklet or whatever. Just come to me. I got I got your all covered and you ain't got to pay for it. Yes, you don't have to pay on charge for you to come watch my show. I sure don't. And I don't even plan to in the future. Okay, it just is what it is. But when you support me, when you subscribe to my channel, you give me those likes, then it gets me to another level. Okay. And I'm going to always try to stay on this too. Free of Patreon, free of Super Chats, and this, that, and third. Because I know y'all be trying to help a sister. And if I ask y'all for it, I'm pretty sure y'all will come through. But y'all need y'all money like I need my money. And we ain't got time to be wasting it, okay? And I said not necessarily be a waste, but it's just like, no, nah, because I be done say something you don't like. Then you be talking about a refund. I'm like, refund from where, honey? I bought this and I bought that. They ain't get no refund. No Indian gave us here. So that's why I like to do things on my own, on my own. Oh, how did it end this way? 
it wasn't how it was supposed to be. Okay, yeah, let's pat it the bear all day, all night. Okay, yes, get into it. But let's get on into this article. I can't carry it too much longer. Okay, it says, uh, the what do you call it? Alex uh, Stone, the uh, journalist, the uh, commentator for this piece, she wrote as a title, Kenya Moore, Mark Daly, and their miracle baby, Brooklyn Daly, or live today at the Tamara Hall Show. Okay, and that's another thing with Kenya, talking about this, this miracle baby. Girl, everybody has a miracle baby. Have you, you think you're the only one got the stock in the corner market on delivering a baby and having complete turmoil? Okay, I'm like, every baby is a miracle, honey. Every time they develop in your stomach and they come out healthy with no health problems or none of that, that's a miracle baby. And on the flip side, if they do come out with, um, uh, we call it deficiencies or uh, abnormalities or whatever, they still a miracle baby, blessed baby, because, hey, they came out in the world and they wanted you, the Lord chose you to protect and, and, and see them as gifts, okay? So can you stop that shit? I'm tired of hearing it. Miracle, baby. Every baby is a miracle. Hell, we all human beings are miracles to be sitting up here in this world with society's rules that don't even match the justices from the injustices people are paid uh, to do to us, okay? Girl, I'm sick of you now, girl. Where are my people? Where are my people to calm me down? Because I feel like I'm going to go on a rant. I'm going to go on a rant so I can get to this story. I can't even just do too much. She do too much. But anyway, we going into the story. It says... Uh, Kenya Moore revealed to her fans that together with her hubby, Mark Daly, and their miracle baby, Brooklyn Daly, they will be live today at the Tamarins Hall show. Check out her announcement. Okay, there you go. Twitter fingers and Instagram. Uh, junkie, Miss Kenya Moore want the attention. She's bringing it to the forefront. She want everybody in her play yard. We done been invited over, so don't think you're going to get all goods and who's and ha ha. Nah, you're going to get some criticism. And I'm ready here. I'm ready to criticize when I see flag on the plate when there's a foul going on. I'm like, stop the court. If we talk about basketball, I'm like, football, throw the flag on the plate. Okay, but let's get on into it. It says, I'm so honored to be a guest on the new Tamara Hall show with my husband, Mark Daly, and our miracle baby, the Brooklyn Daily and Tamara Hall. Watch us live tomorrow in New York. Love, family, IVF, Miracle Baby Art, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. Oh, whatever. She done tagged herself to death. Okay. But I'm here. I got the message. I came. All right. I got the message. I know I was summoned. So I came. Yes. Pay my own flight. All right. I'm sitting right there with you in my mind. Okay. Looking at you. Looking at you. Like the hypocrisy. Okay. So what? Can you say her man, her new husband, her lover, her life? That's my life. He don't want to be a part of all this entertainment world. He was going to do anything. He just want to be all out there in the restaurant business, solidifying himself at this and third. Well, what? He saw, oh, girl, I saw some clips. And I was like, wait a minute. He looked very comfortable up on that uh, couch trying, uh, trying to spread his legs wide open. Like we wanted to see what he had between his legs. I'm like, come on now. Come on now. Come on, sit up and be presentable, okay? Sit up and be presentable. Don't be louching on somebody's couch and like you at home or something. I mean, really? I'm like, girl, girl, get your man, get your man, okay? Because he ain't looking all pristine and plush and polished anymore. He's looking like a junkie of having, the by, you know, been bitten by the bug of entertainment. And now he just want to ravish in it. Just want to lounge on in it. Okay. It's too much. He too much. I'm telling y'all. This Mark Data got another side. And he's it's, it's creeping in. It's creeping in. He like entertainment. Trying to fool us like that. Oh, he private. No, he 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 a businessman. Well, I know a lot of businessmen. Fortune 500 men. Okay. That they ain't got time. They ain't talking about money putting in their pocket. They ain't finna do no interview. And then again, they still ain't gonna do no damn interview. Just watch them grow through Forbes magazine. Fortune 500, 100 black men of Atlanta and the um, the world, you know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't got time for no news media to find out and drudge up stuff on us. No, uh-uh, to each his own, but I'm going to go over here and my business world and can continually be a, a silent million, billion, trillionaire out there. Okay, you ain't going to know unless I meet you 
date you, marry you, and then you're going to find out what it's about. The true millionaires and billionaires are him. We don't get down. We don't let people know who we really are, okay? We just go through life and live it. That's all. And if you happen to uh, get in, involved with one of us, hey, your life been set, okay? Been set, okay? Cruise control, what you'll be doing for the rest of your life. The Lord call you home. But anyway, um, yeah. So Cameron Hall was this um, person looking like a uh, younger uh, Oprah Winfrey trying to get her little talk show um excitement on for the viewers so yeah okay that's where we are very nice looking lady glad she got her own platform don't sell your soul honey uh for the entertainment because it ain't that glitz and glamour ain't nothing true in it not really uh know yourself provide for yourself and when things get a little too shaky come out and still be yourself all right that's just my little well, wisdom of nuggets for anybody who wants to cling on to them. But anyway, it says, Tamara said, Baby Brooklyn and Baby Moses on one show. I can't take it. Laugh out loud. Baby Moses. I'm sure once we get into the article, maybe I'll figure out who Baby Moses is. I have no clue. And like I said, I try to read the article with you all. So I get my first take on it and I just spit my you know, my uh, commentary with y'all. Because we, I like to find out with y'all uh, where we can go through this journey together and cut up. Uh, but, you know, I couldn't wait on y'all on one of them stories. But I put that out last night. I had to go and get my own feel in because it was just so tantalizing. Like, I couldn't wait. It's just like opening up a present. You know, you know what it is. You just want to see it. You know what I'm saying? That kind. So I'm sorry about that. I left y'all yesterday, but today I got y'all on deck with me. But it said, uh, a follower posted, much love and blessings to you guys. Your number one fan from day one, not a bandwagon. I always had your back. Yeah, sure you did. Okay. When the going got tough, were you there? Were you there? Were you still a Kenya supporter? Or were you looking for the sidelines? But sometimes I be looking, I be out on the street and I just fall back in the bushes. Because <laughs> they be done just took me up. I can't even peep out the bushes. I got to go on in the street, watch the fight, and then fall back into the bushes like i can't believe this shit just happened okay but moving back on that's my commentary not in this article okay then it said um another commenter said i'll be there with you look forward to seeing you guys we wanted to bring skylar with us but she was still too young to travel that far she's eight weeks old don't know who uh scholar is either so y'all can tell me who scholar is and baby moses because i don't have a clue all right then another follower come in i'm sorry I feel so alone doing this journey and good support any good support group you would suggest to a terrified fan I'm like girl whoever is this commenter go talk to your IVF practitioner okay they can give you all the support groups you can probably even handle you don't need to be asking social media are you kidding me I'm like who is this person all right but anyway she, evidently she's been hanging out with Portia Williams too long okay if she is a, a entertainer, okay, not just an everyday normal person, because if she's just an everyday normal person asking this crap, then I'm just going to have to be on her, too. I'm going to have to be on her. I'm like, where's your parents? Where's your family unit? Where are your people? Better yet, go back to your practitioner and ask him the same question you asking Kenya Moore, because I'm sure they are better well suited to address your issues than Kenya Moore. Okay, thank you. Moving back on. It said, a person praise the ladies. Uh, I pray you ladies have an amazing day spreading the word and representing so many women of color. Um, I was graced with a ticket to be a part. Yet, unfortunately, I can't make it due to a very sick family member. My sisters of fertility for colored girls will be in your midst and I stand with them in spirit. Has been in the spotlight recently after some disturbing rumors surfaced claiming that she and Mark Daly are having marital problems. Uh, can you recently share more content on her IG account to show fans that everything is all right in her family? My whole thing, I think she's doing damage control, but that's just my feelings. Y'all know how I feel about, uh, Kenya Moore's marriage, her, um, um, baby situation, how she formed herself into getting pregnant. And, you know, I ain't got no, uh, issues with her having a baby. You know, because it's just spurned spurn on in my eyes, you know. But that's just me. That's just me. Let me have my own opinion. Okay, I might be wrong in y'all eyes, but I still want my own opinion. And I want to be able to express it. That's all I'm saying. I let you express yours, so let me express mine. And we can both be right. We can both be wrong. It just is what it is. Okay, we both have opinions. All right, but I'm going to do my own interview. Now, if I was the interviewer up there asking questions, I would have been asking, like, 
why Kenya Moore? Why Mark Daly? Uh, why didn't you jump the broom here in Atlanta or New York? Or whatnot. What was the big secret? What were you trying to hide? And why are you coming out now telling us about it? Okay. It was a salacious story then. You're trying to make it a salacious story, what, a year later or, or two years later? And you want us to buy all into it because you don't manufacture your own uh, comments and goings of the events in your head, how it went down. You're trying to make us understand it from your point of view. Okay. Then my other question would have been, why are you showing us your life now? What's so different? Okay, first you wanted to be on TV, then you didn't want to be on TV. Bravo wanted to capture this uh, lovely moment of sensational uh, happiness for your life, but you didn't want to show it. I mean, I understand. What, what, what's different now? Okay, we, we want to know all that stuff when it was happening. We don't want to see it now. At least I don't. I don't. Uh-uh. Go on and live your life. Do your life. Let... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Mark Daly, your husband, be to himself. Because, you know, he don't want to be on camera. But now, yet, yeah, he's on camera, on social media, on live network. Okay? I'm not understand. Is he private? Is he not private? Do he want to dish the dirt with you and be around your entertainer friends and, and, and be photographed and, and, and dissected and all like that? Oh, he don't. Which one? We can't go. We can't play this game of back and forth. We need some stability. We have a dub, double-minded uh what do you call it? Way of thinking between both of y'all. You know, they say what double minded people are, they're not stable. Okay, I'm just giving it what they say now. That's what they say in the Bible. Okay, a double minded person is like saying a person with no foundation will fall for anything. Okay, your house cannot be solidified. Okay, it can't have two things going on. Or you never stand. That's all I'm saying. Then my next question would have been why is your husband and you wanting to show us your love? Now, uh, to the public, why uh, this outpouring of love when all this other stuff you want to keep hidden in, in secrecy? You know, what is it about? Uh, are you needing more uh, revenue? You need more video exposure, camera exposure to help him and his restaurant grow globally or whatnot? I understand if you are, if he's already solidified, if he already had his life going, already had his business down on Pack Street, okay? Meaning, Pack, he got. Wow, and he's doing good, way above what Kenya could ever bring to his life. Why he want to be on TV? Never heard of Mark before, Kenya. Of course, I don't live in New York. I have family in New York, but not uh, New York, New York, Buffalo, New York. But I'm like, I, you know, he didn't really do anything. I, I didn't really see him in four or five hundred when I do get the magazine and I read through it. You know, just come across my media feed to see what billionaire millionaire is out there now. And your husband name didn't come up, girl. But anyway. My next interview question would be, I thought Mark was a private person. Okay, now this is where you will hear nothing but crickets. You know how you be on, like, in the country, you just be hearing all these ladybugs and crickets going, and, you know, you ask the question, but ain't nobody saying nothing. Yeah, that's pretty much where I was with when I would have been asking the question. Mark, I thought you were a private person. You did not want to be on camera. You didn't want to be seen. You're the person in the back, but you're full of support for your wife. Why are you out on Front Street now? The restaurant business not doing so well. Uh, you got tired of being in the background and you want to be seen because you know you're a handsome man. You could you could really pose for GQ. You know you could definitely get in them suits and sell them clothes. I see athletic wear on you. Uh, sports wear, yes. Okay, but I understand. Private person or you not? Either you want to be seen on camera, you want to be a part of this hoopla entertainment world, or you don't. Which one is it? Okay, because you got me going in circles. Around in circles. Yes. Because your attitude that you're giving me now, I can't go for that. No, no. No can do. I can't go for that. No, no. How how the notes say, I can't do it. I can't go for being twice as nice. Yes. I can't go for being no, repeating the same old lies. Use my body now, you want my soul. Don't even think about it, oh baby. No, no, yeah. I, I do almost anything that you want me to, yeah. And I, I, I do almost anything 
that you want me to, yeah, but I can't go for that, no, no, no can do, I can't go for that, no, no, no can do, yes, I felt like spit it out, out on the song, I thought I'd give it to y'all, I thought I would give it to y'all, but yeah, then my next question would have been, how much publicity will you receive by coming out? Uh, but being on camera 24 7 because you know you don't put yourself in a, in, a, in a box now a very uh lucrative triangle of a box where you're gonna have good you're gonna have bad and you're gonna have the ugly which one are you ready for because we're seeing the good but you know how all fact checkers are they go out there and they pull up dirt they pull up past relationships they pull up everything on you now i'm just saying these are the big bloggers it ain't me because i'm gonna always just piggyback off them and tell it on my side of how i want to see it okay that's how i do all right but you're gonna come you see you're in a triangle now in the entertainment world you don't set yourself up as a target yes you have so i don't want to hear can you trying to take a phone man saying he didn't ask for this he didn't do this i don't want to hear it i can't go for that no 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 can do no ain't ain't no why joyce mama say ain't no river wide enough Ain't no uh, valley low enough. Ain't no mind high enough to keep me off your behind. That wasn't what Mother Joyce said. That's what she told Todd. Candy Burr's, um, what do you call it? Husband. Yeah, she did. I know she been, I know she been on point. She been looking on Front Street. Every, ain't nothing done in the dog with her. Everything out there in the public. Oh, yes. And it's done out in front of him. She was stabbing. Girl, she was stabbing. She was, ah! She just be too much. She hurt her candy. Man, please. Just go on and run for your life. Go on to the next, uh, we call it country, okay? Because it ain't going to stop Mama Joyce from finding you. You heard her baby girl, okay? But I'm just saying. Then I would have been my last and final question. Is he ready for the backlash? Is he ready for the backlash? Because he's trying to be prosperous. He's trying to get into the prosperity, the money line of entertainment, okay? He was just sh serving us food. But now he's going to get into another side of entertainment he ain't bargained for, all right? Okay? And that's all I have for this video because I want my fact checkers to come out. And I want my solid Kenya or uh, more people to come out and give me their spiel. Because, you know, you, it's, it's free reign over him. As long as you don't be cussing and carrying on, I can tend to talk to anybody. And then let the platform be open up for everybody else to go at it with each other. To throw their ideas, their concerns, their thoughts uh, in my comment section. Because that's, that's all it's about. Us getting together, looking at a big old show on TV and just commenting. Okay? Because we all have comments. We all have issues on what we see out there in the entertainment world and we want to just make our opinions known yes we do yes we do the lord i don't tear it too long too long on this video so i'm gonna cut it short and i will see y'all next video okay have a blessed night Bye bye